So I know what you're probably thinking when you saw the title of this video, there must be some kind of snowstorm, something crazy going on. Actually, it's just a rainy day in Seattle. Well, it's a little bit rainier than usual. We've got uh, what they're calling like a Pineapple Express-esque storm coming in. Normally this sort of thing lands in Hawaii, but right now it's hitting like Portland and Seattle. So we've got like these crazy rain downfalls coming in. And I decided I would hop on, start delivering food and do some midday deliveries. So normally I'm more of like a evening delivery type of person. I got a lot of stuff going on during the day, but I want to kind of, you know, try doing some day deliveries. I've done it before. Normally it's not as busy as during the evening. So that's kind of how I developed my strategy. Just, you know, get the stuff I need to get done during the day and then, you know, hop on, maybe do some deliveries at night. But today is the perfect day for me to do these day deliveries because people in Seattle, even though they deal with rain all of the time, get absolutely panicked when it starts raining. So people need food, they're still hungry, but honestly, a lot of them, I feel like are kind of scared to go outside and brave this weather, even though it's just a little bit wet out there. So I'm trying to, you know, get out there, help people out, get that food delivered, and see if I can make some pretty good cash here doing it. So I'm two orders in right now. My very first order was through Grubhub, I actually, I uh, signed up for a couple of blocks from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., and then 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. I don't know if I'm going to get through all of them, but I have them all on the schedule. Immediately, as soon as I turned on the first block, I got a $38 order. This one ended up taking me about 30 minutes. It was under five miles total, and I finished that one, then got my next order, 27 minutes. I'm waiting outside of Euro Hut here for that one. To come through and it's it's taking a little bit longer but it's almost a $30 order and it's pretty close by so good start so far I'm gonna keep checking in let you guys know how this goes I'm gonna show you guys all of these different earnings and you know let you know how it goes delivering during the day when the weather is crazy out there because I want you guys to be able to take advantage of situations like this make more money and make sure you're using the right apps um, so far you know this Grubhub one two step is working out pretty well for me getting some big tips on here. When Grubhub says they give you 100% of tips, they mean what they say. So it's looking good so far. And I'm gonna go ahead and head in, see if that order is ready, and then kind of keep moving. So that second order ended up taking a little bit longer than expected. The Eurohut took like 20 minutes to get everything ready, but it was still almost a $30 pickup. Not too disappointed about that. And then immediately after, I got kind of like an add-on that was another 12 bucks. It was real close by, so I finished up both of those. Now I'm done with my initial block that ended at one. I got another one coming up at 2 p.m. and I'm kind of in break mode. I still have, uh, I'm still online and I actually just had an order come through here on the phone, so I'm gonna check that out. So I had to reject that one because it was too many miles. It was only a $12 offer. And I'm, right now I'm just kind of waiting for the best offers to come through. I know I'm gonna get more on my next upcoming block. And the rain is really coming down outside. I mean, if you can see it out there, uh, I actually live right next to a creek and I'm gonna go pick up some sandbags right now, put those at my house and then get back to working because I'm a little bit worried about flooding right now. The creek was looking more like a river last time I checked. So I'm gonna get that situated and then get back out there delivering a couple more orders, keep on picking them up and filling up this Grubhub delivery bag. All right, so I just finished up my lunch break and I took a little bit of time to actually do some work on my laptop. I had some other stuff that I needed to take care of. I was seeing a lot of offers come through that were really just like low ball offers. I'll show you kind of in my app what it looks like. I had a bunch of them here that I just didn't want to accept and I have other stuff that I can work on that I know I can you know, generate some pretty good income doing. So it's not like I feel like I need to be accepting every order. And that's really why I like kind of the flexibility of being able to just only accept what I need to accept. But I got those sandbags, I'm gonna show you guys right here. So I actually picked them up. Uh, if you can see out there, they're in the uh, front yard ready to go. And they're there in case, you know, I need them. I don't actually expect it to flood, but that river, that creek is still looking pretty crazy out back. So, you know, if I need to come back here, set those up at some point, I definitely will. Um, I actually got another offer coming through right here. It looks like it's a taco uh, del mar offer for about 15 bucks, which isn't a bad payout, but it's really far up north. All right, so I had to reject that one as well, but right when I got off my break, I picked up a Papa John's order for about 17 bucks. It wasn't too far out of the way, made that one pretty quick. So I'm up to close to 100 bucks on the day, and this is really just a couple of hours of work. So I'm gonna see how this goes, kind of getting into the 
the end of the work day people are getting off work and it's still crazy rainy out here so i think people are going to be you know putting a lot of those orders out there i think it's going to uh, pick up even more i'm going to have more offers coming my way i'm going to be able to be uh, you know pretty choosy and still get some high paying orders coming through but in the meantime i'm going to go fill up for gas because there's a really cheap gas station around here and i think i can use the get upside app to kind of get some more cash back on top of that if you don't already have this app and it's in your area make sure to use my link down below you can start earning cash back every time you fill up and this is just another way for you to kind of maximize those earnings when you're out there on the road it's something that I always make sure to do if there's ever an opportunity to get cash back, save money on something. Uh, that's you know exactly what I'm doing. That's why I don't have a dash cam, guys, because I'm probably one of these stingier people that you will meet. I don't spend money on it if I don't need it. The dash cam would probably make my YouTube videos better, but honestly, I'm not really big on you know filming while I'm out here on the road. Uh, basically, a lot of what I'm doing is just car karaoke, and you guys don't want any part of that. Trust me. Uh, and you know I'm not out here you know saying i'm delivering all day and necessarily delivering all day the, the great part about uh the gig economy for me is the flexibility so if i'm getting some low ball offers coming through then i'm inside i'm back at home and i'm doing work on the computer because you know i don't feel the need to necessarily constantly you know go out there work non-stop it's not a full-time job for me and i feel like a lot of these people that say you know i did uh deliveries from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. or whatever, like 24 hours of delivery straight. It's a cool video title, but realistically, not a lot of us are out here doing that. You know, we're working when it's best for us. We're using that flexibility, and that's why we like the gig economy. That's why I like it. I don't want it to change. I don't want this to be a full-time thing. I don't really like AB5 personally because I like it how it is. If you're savvy, you know what you're doing. You can make some good money at it, and that's where I'm at. And that one popped up for just Poke. Now, as I mentioned, I did have time to go ahead and check in there with Google Maps. It was 20 minutes just to get to the restaurant. And I previously had another order coming up that was down there, kind of in central Seattle. It looked like it was 30 minutes on top of that to get to that drop off point. Uh, you know, just judging off of what I saw a few minutes ago on the other order. So obviously, I got to decline that for a $10 payout. Not really worth it. Uh, with traffic being this crazy, I'm going to try and stick to North Seattle and see what I can get up here. But if they don't start coming in heavier, I'm kind of going to head back home and do some more work on the computer. I'll, you know, I'll sit here for another five minutes, wait it out. But I don't like sitting around and stalling too much. So that's kind of my game plan uh, for right now. So I ended up getting another quick order from Tacos Guamos. That's over in Green Lake. And it took me back up towards my house. That made about two orders uh, for that second block that I was on. But I was only really on it for about half of it, maybe a little bit over an hour. So not bad. Uh, not huge earnings, but that's like literally the middle of the day, 2 p.m. I wasn't expecting it to be crazy. Now it's 4 o'clock. That last block ended. I've got this open period between 4 and 5 when I've got another one starting. And I actually just had another order pull up. Uh, it's up here at the Green Papaya Restaurant, kind of in Lake City. And it's a $15 order. I take this down to Fremont. I'm sure there will be a little bit of traffic, but it shouldn't be too crazy because that's kind of like a, a cross commute. Uh, backtracking not a lot of people are heading south right now so it shouldn't be crazy and then once I get down there I'm kind of in like the thick of it there should be some more orders down there my block should be starting pretty soon after I drop that one off and I should be making some more good progress if not I'll probably head home I do have some work I got to do I got to fix a couple of things on gigsharks.com if you guys haven't checked that out already make sure you do because you can find all of the best gig economy jobs in your city. I have them listed by city, and I've worked really hard to get a ton of different gigs up there, so make sure that you check it out right now if you haven't. Even if you have, there's new gigs on there, so make sure you see those because you might be missing out on some ways uh, to make some quick side hustle money. But I'm gonna go ahead and pick this order up, and then I'm gonna take off and head a little bit uh, further down there towards Fremont. All right, so that last order put me in central Seattle, almost south Seattle. It was kind of a deeper offer than I normally like to accept, but the price was good. It was like 22 bucks on the total offer, and I looked at traffic before I accepted it. It wasn't too bad. Uh, now I'm down here, and it's only like 5.30, but it looks like it's pitch black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish up uh, the rest of the deliveries, probably stop at about 7 o'clock, maybe go a little bit past that, just kind of get a feel for where I'm at with picking up offers. And then I'm going to kind of recap everything in the morning when I get some better light. And what I'm also going to show you guys is how much total I paid in gas 
uh, for this time period, what my expenses are. I'm gonna look in QuickBooks. I'm tracking everything through that app. So I know I was gonna wait till tomorrow morning to get some better lighting, but after I dropped off that last order, I'm down here downtown, kind of uh, in the Belltown area, and I've got some better lighting. I'm at $172 total earnings, and I just picked up another uh, double kind of batched order for $24 total, so that's gonna put me at 196 after I complete uh, both of these orders. And that, that'll that have me sitting pretty good. That'll have me right at that seven o'clock mark. From there, I'm gonna kinda see you know how it goes. Maybe try and push it a little bit further, see if I can get over that $200 in a single day. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna go through the gas and expenses when I'm done with this. I am gonna do that tomorrow morning when I have a little bit more time to look through everything. Uh, but make sure you stick around for that because I'm not gonna be spending as much on gas as a lot of people think that you end up spending. Uh, and I want you guys to kind of see that aspect of it. So I promised you guys a recap of my earnings, my expenses, and what exactly that mileage looked like during the full day of Friday, December 20th. So let's go through that. I made about $230 delivering food this day, and I drove a total of about 68 miles. So if we multiply that by the standard mileage deduction of 58 cents per mile, that gives me a total of about $39.44 that I get to write off. So that includes the gas that I spent, the wear and tear on my vehicle, depreciation, really it's just a lump sum for everything. And personally, I think that my expenses are less than that. As I mentioned earlier, I used about a quarter tank of gas and what it cost me to fill up my 2005 Mazda 3 it's a little bit over 30 bucks for the full tank so that puts me at about eight bucks or so in gas the car did not cost me that much money so depreciation and wear and tear really are pretty minimal uh, you know i do have some upcoming things that i might have to fix but i haven't spent much on maintenance on this vehicle so far so really i think that standard deductions a pretty good rate to use if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for all of the latest gig economy news also check out the facebook group at gig nation where we talk about everything and once again if you're looking for a new gig or more side hustles in your area check out gigsharks.com